Now looking at those inflation numbers, Samuel, at 7.74% from 10.05%, pretty good on that front. So does this call for another interest rate cut? Yes, uh, looking at those numbers, definitely they're very positive. We must admit uh, it has been a major concern over the most of this year because of uh, the very high inflation levels that we've seen. But uh, in terms of uh, the, 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 the behavior of the inflation uh, level, we've seen them coming down significantly. And uh, at 7%, it's already a single digit, which is a positive. And Central Bank has actually been working at targeting 9%. So when you're at 7 that's already a good indicator that uh, CBR will be coming down. And also liquidity will also start to be seen, especially in terms of the markets. And uh, all, all hopefully fully positive sentiments, even in terms of uh, the NSC. By what margin could we see the CBR coming down by? We had Ali Khan Sachu yesterday saying that he could possibly see another 200 basis points coming through. Yes, we should see it coming down to the, the range of 15, 14 percent and continue indicating uh, towards the same direction. Though I guess the other thing that we should be also be looking at is the foreign exchange market as well as uh, the fuel prices because they tend to also really influence some of these factors. Now, look, coming back to the market, uh, Samuel, we did have the NSE 20 falling back for the third day. Would you say it's largely driven by profit taking at this stage? Well, we're seeing a lot of profit taking. Also, some of the numbers that are already coming through. You mentioned Equity Bank. They've already announced their half one results. And uh, I guess investors are already booking their profits because uh, there wasn't much in terms of uh, dividend payout. So I guess right now they are now waiting for quarter three and four uh, towards the close of the year. And also looking at uh, some counters like NIC Bank, they closed for their N, uh, for their rights issue, which is coming up uh, in the near future. And uh, because of that, the share, the share is already trading X, uh, X rights. And because of that, it's a bit of a pullback because investors are already uh, closed out in terms of the rights but also looking at some of these other counters like uh, the banks which are not all of them have announced their results I guess there's a bit of anticipation on that front as well talking about rights issues we had the Diamond Trust uh, bank rights issue closing in yesterday's uh, trading session it looks like the majority of the shareholders have decided uh, to follow their rights on that front well, looking at uh, the numbers, especially for Diamond Trust, I think they're very positive and the company has been fairly solid. And looking at it in terms of uh, even the, 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 the rights issue pricing and the positioning of the company's uh, strategy, definitely investors have were very keen on holding on to their rights. And uh, just like you observed there, the rights is closing uh, on 10th of August. And so I guess right now most other investors, because they do not have an opportunity to sell off, they might most likely be taking up their rights. And hopefully we'll, we should be able to see that uh, being fully taken up. Another company which has been under pressure is TPS Arena. We did see them coming out with some numbers in last week's uh, trading session. That stock ended down about 7%, currently sitting at uh, 40 shillings. Your thoughts on uh, TPS Arena? Well, looking at the, the tourism sector, the numbers have also uh, been fairly good, I guess. But uh, I, I think the challenge for TP, TPS is, first of all, it's a, a bit regional in terms of their performance. And uh, I guess the other concern has been the risk level of the country. Because as we continue nearing elections, I guess in, uh, tourists tend to be a bit cautious about our country. And I guess investors are already begin to, beginning to factor that in terms of the performance of the stock and even of the company as an overall. But looking at it in terms of the opportunities that are, could still be there, we are hoping that uh, they'll still be able to cushion the performance through taking advantage of other regions that are, that are fairly well and not in the political dispensation that Kenya might be having. And hopefully the numbers are going to still be able to support. Also in terms of their dividend payout, you're hoping that they're going to be still support that in terms of even an interim that might still uh, please investors. But looking at it in terms of the tourism sector, I guess we are now going nearer and nearer towards elections. And I guess the political risk could be one major factor that's affecting how the share is performing. Political risk could be one major factor. If you look at uh, Safaricom, now that stock also has been receiving a lot of interest of late. That uh, moving about uh, 2 million shares in yesterday's trading session, slightly down from the volumes that we have seen coming through. We have seen about 11 million being traded on Safaricom. Yes, very good uh, observation there. Safaricom has been one uh, stock that many investors have been very keen on, especially on the, foreign, for, on the foreign front. One of the reasons about it is the liquidity of the stock and also the fact that the margins on it are also fairly positive. It's a stock which if someone buys at 3.4 and sells at three point, at 4 shillings, they already, have already made quite a good, uh, good, uh, uh, good gains on it. And looking at it in terms of the performance, especially in the last uh, recent, uh, recent past, we've seen it rising all the way to 4 shillings. And so that already made investors start booking in some of their profits. But looking at it in in terms of uh, the fact that it's already trading come dividend, I guess there's also some bit of interest on the stock in terms of uh, buying into it. There's a lot of uh, positivity coming through from the NEC 20, a lot of developments uh, expected to come through. The NEC is to launch a treasury bond index uh, by the end of uh, September. We know that the boss is the third performing boss um, globally at this stage. What are you making of all these developments at the NEC at this stage? 
I think they are very fairly positive, especially looking at the NSE 20. We've seen it rise all the way to 3,800, which is a very good indicator, especially compared to last year, where we saw it being depressed significantly. And also with now these other factors like the interest rates and the inflation levels also becoming more manageable, I'm sure the equity market is going to become one very, very positive market for to, to be able to focus on. And also in terms of uh, some of these numbers that are coming through, you're seeing banks posting very good profits, which is already a good return on investment for investors. And also looking at it in terms of these other sectors, we are hoping that they are still going to be able to support this kind of performance. And uh, I think some of these indicators that you've mentioned, like uh, the bond statistic that will also be giving information to investors, is also a good indicator that uh, this market is one to watch.